Um, okay, it says it's recording, so um, this will be pretty short. You guys have done these before, so this is reteaching chapter 11. Um, so set A, it says uh, find the number of cubes needed to make the rectangular prism, and um, all you're all you're doing is doing length times width times height. And you can see that there's one, two, three, four, five across that way. And looks like one, two, three that way. And then it's three high. And so they've done that there. It's three times three times five, or three times five times three. And it's going to be 45. And they um, label it 45 cubic units. And then they give you three others to do. And as always, they give you the page numbers uh, for the section that went over that. Uh, set B, um, more of the same, length times width times height, and uh, in number one and number two, they're giving you the area of the base, and so uh, that is then multiplied by the height. Let's see here, set C, it's getting a little more complicated, we've done several like these. And you can divide it a couple different ways. Um, in this example, they divided it this way. But you could also, if you wanted to, divide it this way. So this would be one section here. And then this would be another piece. So it's up to you on how you want to divide these. Um, if your math is correct, it'll come out the same. I'm looking at number one here. You could divide it this way. So this is all one piece. And then you would just figure out the volume for that smaller top piece. But you could also just extend that top piece down the full length this way. And so this would be one piece. But it's up to you, however you want to do it. And set D, let's take a look at that really quick. Um, let's see here, what tools could you use to model this problem? Uh, I'm assuming this is actually something physical that you would be looking at. And we did some problems like this uh, last week. And then it asks, what's the total volume of the structure? Notice that there's some missing cubes in the center there. So keep that in mind. OK, that's it. You guys should be able to do this without any problem. Um, this is your classwork slash homework for today. And we'll grade this tomorrow.